Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this 6 inch drone build that I did just recently. This is the GEP RC VX6 frame and I reviewed this frame a while back but I haven't had uh, time to get around to actually putting this together. I've had a bunch of parts uh, sitting around waiting for this particular frame. I did want to build a 6 inch cruiser um, more for longer flights and um, you know better efficiency. Uh, went with uh, these Racer Star motors here. That are these are the uh, tw or 2403 2300 kV motors. They're um, nothing special to talk about. I mean, they don't have a ton of power, but they are known for being very efficient. So you get very long flight times of this. And on a six-inch prop on 4S, I got about an eight-minute flight on a 1300 milliamp hour 4S lipo and another. Uh, and, a, and it was a, a kind of a, an older LiPo, not a lot of performance. I was really just going for a super long flight. I think that if you go to a 1500 or an 1800 battery, uh, you could probably extend your flight time even more. Maybe you get 10 to 12 minutes of flight time. And I wanted to build this as a platform for something that could just do like, uh, you know, cruising, smooth flying, uh, not a lot of uh, flippy flops or acrobatics. And this one, I think, turned out pretty well. So... Let me just go over all the components I put in here. Um, this is a pretty traditional build here. Nothing too fancy. There's probably a lot of build videos out there that kind of have similar parts. This is uh, basically uh, a drone that has ESCs on the arms. And these are the uh, Didisi 32-bit, uh, uh, BLHeli 32-bit ESCs, 30 amps. Uh, they did come with these um, heat sinks that were right over the FETs. And this is what the heatsink looked like. It was over this part of the ESC here, but I pulled them off because the, these are metal and they were butted up right against these capacitors. So if you do get these ESCs, you can pick these up at Amazon, they're pretty inexpensive. You probably want to remove this metal piece, otherwise you have risk uh, shorting those capacitors and you could possibly get an ESC fire. So if you do get these ESCs, be aware of that and pull that little heatsink out. I just cut a little bit away the heat shrink here and pull that out there. And I have uh, airflow over those uh, FETs there, so to keep it cool. Uh, in, the, in my flights, I didn't have any issues with overheating on this setup here. Uh, on the 2403 kV motor, and these are the uh, Gem Fan uh, Flash 6042 uh, 2-bladed props. Pretty good prop for cruising around in long flights. Now the stack I'm using here, pretty basic stuff. Uh, I got a Matek uh, PDB with a 5 volt and 12 volt regulator. I've got an Omnibus F4 flight controller. It's actually uh, made by AKK. It's the AKK F4. Uh, pretty basic flight controller, nothing fancy there. And then I'm um, using the uh, AKK FX2. And that's a 30 by 30 uh, video transmitter board with an MMCX connector. Uh, and it's controllable via the smart audio protocol. So you can go into your Beta Flight OSD and change your bands, channels, and power and, and use pit mode. So a pretty nice little. Uh, three board stack here, plenty of extra space here above that board for the top plate for the battery strap here. So very nice, neat little stack here. And then that little MMCX connector has a little pigtail that's included. Um, I have the little SMA connector coming out the top here for the, uh, I'm using a Fox Hero Pogoda Pro antenna uh, for that uh, connector there. I am using a uh, FlySky X6B uh, receiver. I mean, obviously you can go FreeSky whatever I just happen to use the FlySky receiver here and have the antennas poking out of the top like this. And I have the uh, XT60 connector zip tied here and here. And these two little spots, little, little spots for zip ties here. And that holds the uh, XT connector uh, in place and won't get into the props at all. So it's pretty nice. And the uh, FEV camera I'm using here is the uh, Foxier Predator Mini. Uh, just using the standard settings. Uh, I'm using a uh, 1.8 millimeter lens. Pretty good field of view, pretty good colors. Uh, overall, I, I like the performance of the camera, and I've already done a review on that. You guys can check out that. It's in a, from a video maybe about a month and a half ago. So that's pretty much everything that went into the build. It's uh, not a particularly complicated build. Nothing uh, super special here, but basically I went for an efficient motor here. Obviously, you can go for a bigger motor and you know, obviously a 30 amp ESCs could probably take uh, quite a bit. If you want to go to a bigger motor and get more performance and do acrobatics, whatever, you could do, have to definitely do that. I happen to want to go for a long flight type of platform here. And these motors, they're, like I said, they're not like super performing motors, but they are very efficient and they're pretty cheap. Uh, four motors cost 
like I think $29. So uh, if you're looking for some sort of platform like this that can carry a GoPro, obviously you can put a GoPro right here, get some nice high depth video, and get some pretty long flights for just cruising around. Um, this might not be a, a, a bad way to go. And you can check out all the parts in the description if you want to build one yourself. And I'll go ahead and at this point I'll just go ahead and show you the flight demo. I'm going to speed up the um, FPV uh, flight because it's eight, eight minutes long and it's pretty boring. So uh, that's why the, the footage is sped up because otherwise you'll just be bored to death. But I just wanted to show you that it does go eight minutes on this setup.